burn inside uh, and stay good. Uh, uh, we didn't come here just to be blown away like chaff. We came here to stand, God, to stand for the kingdom of heaven, to stand for your righteousness, Lord, to wave the banner of heaven above our heads, the banner of the name of Jesus Christ, a war cry, God. Stir up a war cry in our hearts, God, to go to those people who need you, Lord God. Let there be fire inside us, Jesus. Fire, God. Fresh fire today, Lord Jesus. Committed hearts. Committed hearts, God. Remembering the calling that we have. Remembering that we are in a battle, God. That you are a warrior, God. That you are a warrior, God. That there's no place to sit on the sidelines, Lord Jesus. Because when the fires of hell are stoking, God. When, the, when your vengeance has come back on this world, God. When there is a day of judgment, Lord God. If we look and we see all those lost souls that we didn't reach, God. That were in our, in our, in our voice range in our life range, God, and we didn't do anything because we were too busy. We were too busy, God. We were too busy doing everything else but the kingdom of heaven, that we were not, we were not taking the gospel. The blood is on our hands, God. That is what your word says in Ezekiel. The laziness, the apathy, the selfishness. It is a weak church. It is a dying church in Northern Virginia. Lord, let ICF not die. This is not a church. This is a ministry. This is not a church, it's a living ministry built on relationships. It is our calling to reach those who need you, God, whether they accept you or not. But woe to us, God, if we sit back and we do nothing. If we're lazy, God. Jesus. Jesus, how many days, how many minutes, how many wasted hours, God. How many wasted hours complaining and worrying about our own selfishness? How many times have we not picked up the phone to call somebody in need? How many times have we seen somebody next to us who needed prayer and we didn't pray? How many times have we seen someone on the road to hell and we did not tell them about you, Jesus? How many times could we have helped and we were too lazy? How many times? How many times? How many times, God? Jesus. Jesus, have mercy on us, God. Have mercy on us for being fearful. Have mercy on us for being afraid to tell people about Jesus. And Lord, you're a God of grace and love, but you also tell us, Lord, that the cowards will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. And those that are lukewarm, you say you will spit out of your mouth. You will throw them up. Search the hearts today. Holy Spirit, this is not a joke. We know this. We have packaged you just like a commercial. We have put you into the category of a movie. We have not lived our faith. We have not died to self. We have not taken you seriously, God. What is it? What does it matter if we accumulate? What does it matter when the whole world is dying? And your church sits by, comes to church on Sunday sometimes, when it's convenient, when they feel like it, when they need something. Break through the law. Revive this corpse. Lord, you raise the dead. I ask you to raise this dead ministry. Dead hearts. Those that no longer have a passion for you. Those that will no longer go out of their way because it's a five minute drive. It's inconvenient. Christians of God. Lord, we are children of yours. We are called for inconvenience. You have created us to be inconvenient. Be placed into places where people don't want to go. To do things that people don't want to do. If we keep asking you to recreate in us, to make us the image of Christ, then we must learn what that image is, God. Teach us. It's a life of sacrifice. It's a life of being poured out for others. It's a life of giving. It's a life that is dedicated to you, God, not to our own selfishness. 
Jesus. Holy Spirit, convict our hearts and give us a time to repent and confess, Lord, of sins and apathy and laziness and selfishness. Purge your church of these things, God. These are spirits of destruction. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, God, that we have not taken you seriously. We have not taken the calling seriously. Please forgive us, Lord. And on the night the Lord was betrayed, he took the bread and he broke it. And he said, this is my body broken for you. Whenever you do this, do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup of wine and said, this is the cup of the new covenant in my blood. Whenever you do this, do this in remembrance of me. And continue to do this until the Lord returns. We will. In the name of Jesus, thank you, God, for your forgiveness. Thank you for your blood poured out, your sacrifice, God, for your love, God, that you poured out generously on all your children, God, who call you as, as, as Lord. And thank you for forgiving us of our sins and even having mercy on us in our apathy, God. We ask you, Lord, to pour out the Holy Spirit into us today, that there's a fresh fire that the enemy cannot put out, that cannot deceive us fire in each of our hearts, God, a burning furnace, a burning power of God, the Holy Spirit inside us, coming in from Jesus. We praise your mighty name, Lord. And we thank you for the miracles, God. We thank you for the signs and the wonders you've given us, Lord Jesus. We thank you for our fellowship, God. We thank you for the opportunity to serve you and your people. To minister in love, God. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. Lord. And thank you for the gifts of the Holy Spirit, which we have been given to serve the kingdom. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Amen.